क्वेश्चन वन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज विदाउट एक्चुअली परफॉर्मिंग द लॉन्ग डिविजन स्टेट वेदर द फॉलोइंग रैशनल नंबर्स विल हैव अ टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन और अ नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिपीटिंग डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द थियोरम्स 1.5 1.6 and 1.7 from the NCERT textbook which when put together basically say that for any rational number p by q when p by q is written in the lowest form then p by q will have a terminating expansion so this will have a terminating decimal expansion if q when prime factorized the denominator when prime factorized has only 2s and 5s in other words if q can be written in the form 2 to the power m 5 to the power n and it has no other prime factors then p by q will have a terminating expansion and p by q will have a non terminating and repeating expansion if q is not of this form which means basically that when q is prime factorized then it has prime factors other than 2 and 5 so to summarize what these theorems say is that if q has only 2s and 5s so first you have to check whether p and q uh, p by q is in the lowest form and once p by q is in the lowest form then look at the prime factorized form of q if q is if q has only 2s and 5s then p by q will have a terminating expansion and if q has prime factors other than 2 and 5 then p by q will have a non terminating recurring decimal expansion now let's take a moment and discuss why these theorems work so the key idea behind why these theorems work is that when the prime factorized form of q in p by q has only 2s and 5s then you can convert this into a power of 10 and you can rewrite p by q as an equivalent rational number where the denominator is a power of 10 for example let's take the rational number 11 by 20 now in this number the denominator 20 has this prime factorized form 2 into 2 into 5 now one pair of 2 and 5 make a 10 but the other two is alone but if i multiply 20 by 5 so if i introduce another factor of 5 then the second pair will also get completed and i will make another 10 so this basically means that by multiplying 11 by 20 above and below by 5 i can convert this to an equivalent rational number which is 55 by 100 and here i have converted the denominator into a power of 10 and this was only possible because 20 had only 2s and 5s in it So now 55 by 100 can be easily written as a terminating decimal which is 0.55. On the other hand consider a number like 11 by 21. Now 21 has the decimal expansion has the prime factorized form 3 times 7. So no matter what I multiply 21 with i can never convert it into an exact power of 10 in other words i can never write 11 by 21 as an equivalent rational number where the power where the denominator is a power of 10 so this can never happen so 11 by 21 will have a non terminating repeating decimal expansion so this is the basic idea behind these theorems that we will use to solve uh, this question so now let's apply these ideas to all the various numbers given to us so the first number is 13 by 3125 now if you prime factorize 3125 you will find that it has only fives in it so in fact when you prime factorize the denominator you can write this as 
5 to the power 5. So this number 13 by 5 to the power 5 has a denominator which has only 5s in it. It has no other prime factors other than 2s and 5s. So this will have a terminating decimal expansion. So let's write it here. So the first number will have a terminating decimal expansion. Now let's take the second number. The second number is 17 by 8. And if I prime factorize the denominator 8, I can write it as 17 by 2 cube. So here also the, denomin the denominator in this number, which is 2 cube, has no other prime factors other than 2s and 5s. In fact, it has only 2s in it. So the decimal expansion of this number will also be terminating. So let's write it here as well. So the decimal expansion of 17 by 8 will be terminating. Now let's take the third number. The third number is 64 by 455. Now 455 can be prime factorized as as 5 into 7 into 13. Now this rational number which is in its lowest form because there is no common factor between the numerator and the denominator. Now here the denominator has in its prime factorized form it has factors other than 2's and 5's. It has this 7, it has this 13. So the decimal expansion of this rational number will be non-terminating and recurring or repeating. So let's write it here. So the decimal expansion of 64 by 455 will be non-terminating and repeating. Now let's look at the next number. So the next number is 15 by 1600. Now let's factorize, let's write the denominator in its prime factorized form. So in its prime factorized form, the denominator has six factors of two and two factors of five. So I can actually write this as two to the power six into five square. And if you want, you can actually pause the video for a minute and work out this prime factorization. So right now it's not in its lowest form because there's a common factor of five between the numerator and the denominator. So if we cancel that out, we'll have three in the numerator and we will have two to the power six into five in the denominator. Now in its lowest form, this number has a denominator which has only twos and fives in it and it has no other prime factors. So the decimal expansion of this number will be terminating. So 15 by 1600 will have a terminating decimal expansion. Now let's go to the next number which is in part 5. This number is 29 by 343. Now 343 is the cube of 7. So the prime factorized form of 343 is simply 7 cube. So now this number, this number has a denominator which has prime factors other than 2's and 5's. So this will have a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So let's write it here, non-terminating and repeating. Now let's go to the next part. In the next part, the sixth part, the number is 23 by 2 cube into 5 square. So the denominator is already given to us in prime factorized form. And this number is in its lowest form and we see that the denominator has only 2's and 5's in its prime factorized form. So this will have a terminating decimal expansion. So the sixth number has a terminating decimal expansion. Now let's go to the next number. So the next number which is in part 7 is 129 by 2 square into 5 to the power 7 into 7 to the power 5. Now this number is in its lowest form because there is no common factor between the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is neither even, it's not a factor of, it's not a multiple of 5 
it's not even a multiple of 7. So this number is in its lowest form and in this form we see that the denominator has prime factors other than 2s and 5s. So it has this uh, prime factor of 7 occurring in its prime factorized form which means that its decimal expansion will be non-terminating and repeating. So this number has a non-terminating and repeating decimal expansion. Now let's go to the next number which is part 8. Now in, in this part you will realize why it's important to look at the prime factorized form of the denominator when it is in its lowest form. So if I look at the prime factorized form of 15, this will be 3 into 5 and I see that because there is a factor of 3 in it, I could conclude that this number should have a non-terminating repeating expansion. But what we need, really need to do is to first reduce 6 by 15 to its lowest form. So 6 by 15 is actually 6 by 3 into 5 which is 2 by 5 and in this lowest form the denominator has only 5 in it. It has no prime factors other than 2s and 5s. It has just 5 in it. So the decimal expansion of 6 by 15 will actually be terminating. So it will have a terminating decimal expansion. Now let's look at the next number which is part 9 which is 35 by 50. So if you want you can reduce it to the lowest form which is 7 by 10 and 10 has only 2s and 5s in it. It, it. it is actually 2 into 5. So the decimal expansion of 7 by 10 will be terminating. So that's part 9. 35 by 50 has a terminating decimal expansion. Lastly, let's do part 10 which is, so let me write it here itself. So part 10 is 77 by 210 and I can write this as 77 by the prime factorized form of 210 which is 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. So if I cancel out the common factor of 7, I will have 11 in the numerator and in the denominator I will have 2 into 3 into 5. So even after reducing it to the lowest form, 11 by 2 into 3 into 5, I see that the prime factorized form of the denominator has this prime factor of 3, which means that the decimal expansion of this number will be non-terminating and repeating. So 77 by 210 will have a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. So with that, all the 10 parts of this question are done. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.